Hi, I'm Abby from the Open University Psychological Society. Every year, OOPS holds a conference where we invite top psychologists to talk about a particular area. Next year, in 2017, it's the psychology of desire. I'm joined by Professor Frederick Totes. Fred is the president of OOPS, and we're delighted to have him as a president because Fred has an international reputation as a well-respected academic, both for his research and for his books. And we're quite excited about this conference because I think desire is quite a unique theme because we can apply it to everybody. Everybody has desires. What do you think, Fred? Well, indeed, everybody has desires. That's what gets us out of bed in the morning and what moves us into action. And our conference is intended to address not only an academic audience but a much broader audience. And so the lecturers have been asked to present in such a way that it's comprehensible to people who are not necessarily specialists in the area. So for laypersons and for academics? For both. Yeah, OK. Well, we all have desires, don't we? Um, I think we can start with you because you're going to be the first speaker up in the conference. And what are you going to be talking about? I want to look for general principles underlying desire. What is it that all desires have in common? What is it that distinguishes them? So I look at a range of desires, from the noble, like altruism, to the not-so-noble, like revenge. Yes, of course, because um, some desires can be very pleasurable, but then there is, the, uh, uh, of course, what happens when desires go wrong, or if we desire too much of the wrong thing. But I, I think that there's, there's something that's linking all of those things, isn't there, which is dopamine. Yes. So can you tell us a bit about that? Well, it's becoming more and more evident that dopamine is a kind of common denominator for any sort of desire. It's what energises, it moves us, it gives us that urge to engage in the desire, to reach the end point that the desire is suggesting to. And Fred, will you be mentioning sexual desire? Because of course you've written a book on how sexual desire works, which won a prize, didn't it? Um, the American Publishers Award for Prose, is that right? In 2015, in the category of psychology. Theorising that I've done on differences between male and female desire. Oh, okay. All right. So do you think they are quite different then? Or, I mean, or, or not? I think it's a bit like asking whether men are taller than women. Okay. Most men are Sometimes. taller than most yeah, women, yeah, yeah. but there are some very tall women and some very short men. Um, I think it's slightly like that. So there is an overlap, but I believe that there is running through it a real difference. And we really are proud to present a range of top class speakers who will be talking about all kinds of desires, why we desire the things that we do and what we can do about our desires. One of whom is Neil Frude, he's from the University of Cardiff and he'll be talking, well in a light-hearted way won't he, yes. about um, desires danger, delights and denial, or something along those lines. It's, so. it's bound to be very entertaining. It yeah. always is coming from Neil. That's right. So we're, we're really looking forward to Neil's talk. And Neil will be talking on the Saturday night before the disco. So, yeah. And also on the, the theme of um, desires that are fun. And um, we, we'll have Morton Kringleback join us, won't he, yes. from Oxford. And he'll be talking about desire, pleasure and music in the brain. And, and we've invited Morton back because his, his talk went down so well, yes, didn't yes. it, the last time that he... Oxford University Focus. and Aarhus in Denmark. Yes, yeah. And Morton is a leading researcher in emotion, so we are very much looking forward to hearing his latest research and, and what he's got to say. Well, we have John May from the University of Plymouth. Okay. And he's talking about the conscious mind and desires in the mind and what the control of the desire in the mind can actually do to help us well control our desires what what actually probing the imagination desire in the imagination can an understanding of this how this can help us to control our desires okay so what we can do about our desires John will be covering that's right okay that, that would be a fascinating talk and who else do we have? Well, we have two speakers on sex. We have Lance Workman from the University of South Wales. He'll be giving a presentation on the evolutionary psychology of sexual desire, how sexual desire got here in evolution. And okay. we also have um, Stephanie Both. I've tried to do a Dutch pronunciation. I'm sure it's not very good. Um, Stephanie Both, to English speakers, from Leiden University. And she'll be speaking about when things go right in sexual desire, 
and also when they go wrong, as they often sadly do. Stephanie, experimental psychologist. She's, I, mean, I think she's an experimental psychologist yeah. um, by background, but she's a um, researcher in human sexuality. Okay, well that sounds really interesting. Mm. And um, who else do we have after that? I think Mark Lewis is coming, and, and he is another prize winner, isn't he? Mark Lewis is a very interesting chap. He has a pe peculiar skill, in a sense, in that he's not only a neuroscientist, but a prize-winning neuroscientist, but he also had a history of addiction himself. And he's written a very powerful book about it, um, about his own experience of what it's like to experience drug addiction. He's also a neuroscientist now based in Nijmegen in the Netherlands. Okay. Okay, so he is in a good position then to, to talk about it from a perspective of empathy as well and understanding. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we have also from the University of Sussex, Aldo Badiani, who's going to be talking about desires, incentives and addictions. Yes. The kind of roots, again, I'm sure he'll come to dopamine, but linking it to the environmental context in which addictions arise. I'm, I'm sure he will... Um, cover dopamine as, as well and Aldo is, has a particular interest I think in the environment and how mm -hmm. that impacts addiction yes um, and Aldo is a professor of addiction medicine at Sussex so yes. hopefully he yes. will have some real insights for us yes and last but not least Sarah Garfinkel will be joining us from the University of Sussex and Sarah's got a lot to say about the influence of the heart on emotion and cognition and the implications for desire okay, so actually we think that's a really good lineup what do you think, Fred? I think it's an excellent lineup, of course. Yeah. And we really hope to see some of you there. And it's in May next year, 2017, the 5th to the 7th of May at Warwick mm. University. Cheers. Cheers.